Okay, welcome to Linux Music. We're putting up a series of really short videos uh, showing that any reasonably intelligent and marginally curious person can use pro-quality audio tools uh, without spending a dime. As always, if the software in your PC doesn't match what's shown in the video, the version uh, you're using is the first thing you'd want to check. Uh, and here's what we're using in the, in the video that follows. Okay, happy Sunday morning from far away Indiana. I've got some coffee. We're going to take a look at Zen Ad Sub Effects. Uh, it's got some uh, wild sounds, and uh, should you be really ambitious, there's more here than you can you can do in a lifetime. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is Zen Ad Sub Effects. Uh, looks looks complicated, uh, and it can be, but. But we're going to show you uh, how to get started, and you can explore yourself from there. Uh, anytime we're using uh, this, we want to start with our jack connections. Uh, go to Setup. Make sure that the uh, sequencer is selected in MIDI driver. And in the Miscellaneous tab, enable also sequencer support. Uh, and we'll go to Connections. And we will take my keyboard, M-Audio and route it into this piece of software and we'll make sure that Zen add some effects is routed out to the system so I can hear uh, what I'm playing uh, it's also in to record my desktop but uh, we don't care about that here uh, well I mean it gets it here for the recording but otherwise so when you first bring this up you'll notice there uh, appears to be all the, the directories off the off the root and no instruments. So uh, we'll come down to user, then share, then all the way down to Zen add sub effects. And here's my banks of instruments. Now I suggest when you uh, bring this up the first time, you come here to favorites and add. Uh, this to your favorites that way it's always sitting here and when you bring the system up uh, you can just open instrument uh, bring up that favorites and there they all are so here are instruments uh, that we're going to play with we'll pick that first uh, play a couple notes here and that's the same for any instrument we'd want to we'd want to play uh, so it's it's just that easy uh now, if you don't have a MIDI keyboard, we can come up here to VK for virtual keyboard and play with our mouse. Notice this bears a striking resemblance to your computer keyboard, and the reason is you can also play. computer keyboard so you can have this uh, pretty much any way you want it uh, if you've got a MIDI keyboard you can route it in as we showed you in Jack if you've got uh, uh, a mouse which I assume you do you can play with that or you can play uh, with your with your computer keyboard um, notice this says uh, polyphony here which means uh, we can play more than one note at the same time which makes it nice. Not all the uh, synthesizers out there have that. And lastly, we can show an instrument bank. And these banks are those subdirectories we just looked at. So we could come down here and here's all kinds of instruments, pan pipes,
anything we want. Uh, I'm not so much for those pan pipes. That's that's. Uh, there we go. Let us know what you think of when you think it's synthesizers. Uh, lastly, uh, I want to show you this edit instrument uh, because if this is just all too simple for you, we can come in here and edit this instrument. And here's more things than you can tweak than you know what to do with. Uh, here's more, uh, all on this current instrument. Uh, the trash synth. You can uh, make this thing sound exactly like you want to and uh, save it uh, as your own instrument. And you can spend your lifetime looking for that special uh, secret chord uh, that David played. Uh, uh, don't want to get too Canadian. Uh, so that's it. Uh, check your jack connections. Make sure they're set up right. Uh, make sure that when you first come in here, you add the instruments to your favorites and then play, play with your keyboard, play your mouse, play your MIDI keyboard, play anything at all uh, and and uh, have a ball. The uh, Linux audio uh, community is really, really gracious and helpful. And uh, all these sites have manuals, links, uh, videos, uh, things to help you get started. Uh, we've only just touched on the very, very basic first stuff here. I hope that you'll uh, check out these sites, learn a little bit more, and, and uh, have some fun. See you next time. <laughs>